some of us will rap from here till tomorrow under the pretense that we're going to make it one day. I'm going to make a million dollars. Some people just horrible rapping in the first place, and it's hard listening to it. And so what you think of that? And you're like, you know, you don't really want to respond what you think about it. Because, you know, whatever that was, it just didn't sound harmonic, and it sounded chaotic. But how do you burst a person's bubble who at the age of 45 is still rapping and ain't get a clue yet? You ain't got no deal. Try something else. Whose family is starving. Who goes to prison and still rapping to other people. Being signed by people who are in prison for record deals. How do you burst that person's bubble and say, maybe you weren't sent here to become a rapper? What do you say to the leader that sees us being massively repressed? Who means well. The intent, the incentive is all wise, right, and exact. However, it really does not cater to that person's specific or particular purpose. How do you burst the bubble of a person who wants to be a leader of the people who did not incarnate to lead the people? What's the problem with that? Because you start guessing. And the second you start guessing, you're going to lead us astray no matter how much your heart is into the mission. We can no longer have people come amongst us guessing before the community, telling us it is the law. Brothers got to learn law to get free. Other people saying, no, we got to get highly spiritual to get free. Other people saying, we need, if you want to, one of my people, it's the diet that's locking you down. Who really has the answers? We're the only ones that is this, that is, have gone under so much repression that we disenfranchised to the extent that you can literally look at all of us in this room and probably pull out 50 different organizations that we belong to. And that's crazy. Who has the answers? Everyone means well, but the day that someone comes and knows the answer, you will see reform. Dr. Yoke was a reformer. Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a reformer. They were doing what they incarnated to do. Some of us incarnated to cause chaos and don't even know it. Some of us incarnated to become a distraction for those of us that came here with a specific purpose. And everybody listens to the man or the woman who doesn't know what their purpose is. But the second a man or a woman comes to you and says, I know my purpose. We say, kill him, or he's a cult, because he actually knows what he's doing here. What do you say to the leader that sees us being massively repressed, who means well, the intent, the incentive is all wise, right, and exact. However, it really does not cater to that person's specific or particular purpose. How do you burst the bubble of a person who wants to be a leader of the people who did not incarnate to lead the people. What's the problem with that? Because you start guessing. And the second you start guessing, you're going to lead us astray. No matter how much your heart is into the mission, we can no longer have people come amongst us guessing before the community, telling us it is the law. Brothers got to learn law to get free. Other people saying no. We got to get highly spiritual to get free. Other people saying, we need, if you want to, one of my people, it's the diet that's locking you down. Who really has the answers? We're the only ones that is this, that is, have gone under so much repression that we disenfranchised to the extent that you can literally look at all of us in this room and probably pull out 50 different organizations that we belong to. And that's crazy. Who has the answers? Everyone means well. But the day that someone comes and knows the answer, you will see reform. Dr. Yoke was a reformer. Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a reformer. They were doing what they incarnated to do. Some of us incarnated to cause chaos and don't even know it. Some of us incarnated to become a distraction for those of us that came here with a specific purpose. And everybody listens to the man or the woman 
who doesn't know what their purpose is. But the second a man or a woman comes to you and says, I know my purpose, we say, kill him. Or oh, he's a cult, because he actually knows what he's doing here. The second someone comes amongst you and says, I was sent here by God to teach you, you say, kill him. Or oh, he's crazy, lock him away. But we trust people who don't tell you that they were sent here by God. That's twisted. Now I'm saying you can put the person to the test, but if a man or a woman can't honestly admit that stands before you, who has your soul in their hands, if they can't say they were sent here to raise you, then you should ask that brother or sister, sit down. And you're taking up time. You're preoccupying our time. And someone who was sent here, who knows why they were here, you're distracting us from their message. Who are you going to trust more? A person that says, I think I'm just winging the whole black conscious thing. Like, I'm winging it. Literally. Or you're going to trust the person that says, who's doing the works, who the works are unparalleled, and you turn around and you say, now this brother says he's sent here to do what he's doing. See, the second I say, I'm sent here to do what I'm doing, people, people are going to freak out. Rumors are going to spread. Mass emails are going to go. Some people are going to want to fight me. Some people are going to want to kill me. First thing coming, somebody, had, man, that nigga ain't no God. That nigga can get slipped by nobody. <laughs> they start doing their whole electric slide and everything, hating. Because you hate your own. And you hate the fact that somebody may challenge you to find your own potential. Because the second you see somebody that knows who they are, they now have to account for themselves. They now have a level or degree of what? Responsibility. And what is responsibility? Your respond ability, your ability to respond. You have the knowledge, now respond to it. Why are we doing this lecture? Because like I said, everybody means well. What if Malcolm X, who had the intuition that he was going to die, what if the brother can confirm the intuition? He may not have stepped out that house unless he had a death wish. What if? What if Tupac could have relied on astrology or solar biology? We call it solar biology. What if Tupac could have relied on solar biology or numerology? What if he could rely on that science when he got that gut feminine principle feeling that said, today I may never see another day in the flesh. What if he had a science that could confirm it, that tell him, do not come outside today? What if he would still be here today? He felt the feeling, but he was in doubt of himself, because his self gave him the feeling in the first place. Martin Luther King, what if the brother had a legitimate science a practical means to which he can find out if the feeling that he felt was all wise, right, and exact to the extent that he didn't come out that day. The world may have been blessed with another week, month, or some years of Martin Luther King Jr. But we want to go blind. We would rather not know and wing every day of our life. Do you think you're on this planet to be a garbage man for the rest of your life? Do you think you're on this planet to play security for the white man for the rest of your life? Lift french fry boxes for the rest of your life? Wait until lifetime expectancy to die as well as get your pension at the same time? And then no one gives the extra money over to your children? What are we really thinking as a community? We have to stop guessing. Here you are trying to mold your little boy or your little girl into being a model. And the whole time, this little man is a mathematician. And you denying the whole world of the next astrophysicist. Because you think that your son wants to play basketball. You think he was born to play ball. But you don't realize the physics of him making that shot every time. We got to stop guessing. Now you want your son to become a mathematician. And that young man probably should be playing basketball. We're confused. We are guessing, and we have to stop guessing. The guessing must stop.